Hey everyone! Welcome back to the Easy Forex Pips YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best strategy to use with the RSI indicator. It's called the RSI crossover strategy and it's actually a very simple and famous strategy. However, most traders are actually trading it the wrong way. The biggest mistake that everyone makes when trading this strategy is every time the RSI is oversold, they immediately take a sell position. This is actually the worst way of trading. But don't worry, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use this setup correctly. So you won't need any other strategy anymore. I'll go through everything step by step and explain each and every detail about his strategy and how to avoid false signals, so be sure to watch the whole video. First thing first, go to the tradingview.com website. I'll set my time frame to the 5 minute time frame for this strategy because lower time frames gives you better results with this strategy. But keep in mind that you can use this method on all time frames and this strategy can be profitable on all of them. I tested this strategy 50 times and gained 122% profit in just one month. For example, if you start with $1,000 account, you can make $1,226 in profit from one currency pair. You can use this strategy in multiple currency pairs to increase your potential profit. The best part of this strategy is that you only have to risk 3% per trade. This strategy is based on the trend, price action, and current momentum. Three different moving averages work as dynamic support and resistance zones. I will explain this in the video. I will keep things as simple as possible with no complex indicators or tools, so it is very easy to understand and apply. It's easy to find very profitable trades in a couple of hours. Now it's time to add indicators to our chart. Go to the indicators menu and search for PP Signal Super Smoother Hikanashi. Now go to the indicator setting option and disable some options. Our first setup is ready. Before we continue, please show your support by subscribing and turning on notifications. Also, if you're learning something new, give us a like and share this video with others. Let's get started with the strategy rules. For sell trades, the first rule is that the price should cross the moving average zone from above to below. This indicates that the current trend is about to change from bullish to bearish. However, this does not exactly confirm the reversal movement. The price may come back to the previous trend. When a large move like this takes place, the price retraces to a higher level 95% of the time. But many times you will see that the market price crosses upwards and then quickly returns back to the zone, or sometimes a bullish candle closes above the zone, and the next candle immediately goes to the zone. These scenarios are valid with our second rule. Our main target is the price holding inside the moving average zone. You need to have a basic knowledge of candlestick patterns to identify the high momentum candles. Candlesticks patterns tells a lot about the market overall conditions. If you are not aware of candlesticks patterns, please check out channel candlesticks patterns playlist, we will give that playlist link in this video description. You can check out after watching this video. Now, back to the video with RSI crossover strategy. The main idea is to find a cross down with good momentum so we can identify the momentum that just started and the market will continue in that direction. You can enter the trade, you can enter the trade here and set your stop loss above the swing high or above the red line. The first profit target is 1 to 1, and the second profit target is 1 to 2. Now, when the first target of profit is hit, you can move up the stop loss break even and wait for the price to reach the second profit target. This way, it becomes a risk-free trade. You can re-enter the market when you get another pullback in the direction of the trend. But, I would recommend you to do only three trades in the direction of a single trend and keep the profit targets low in the second and third trades. Now, let's talk about the buy trades rules. The buy rules are completely opposite of the sell rules. First of all, the price should cross above the green moving averages, leaving a gap between the market price and the moving average. 
The second rule is the price should retrace inside the moving average zone. I explained three scenarios that can happen at this moment. First one, the price moves down and goes up immediately, leaving a candlestick shadow. Second, the price is close below the moving average, but the very next candle rejects the price and moves up, printing a bullish candle on the chart. The third one, the price perfectly holds the green line zone and does not cross the lower moving average line. I place the buy trade here. Here, our first target profit will be 1 to 1, and the second target profit will be 1 to 2. Do not set a profit target below 1 to 1 and above 1 to 2. Now, stop loss above the lower moving average line or swing low the retracement. Now, I'm going to test this strategy. I will take 100 trades and I will calculate the accuracy and gain of this strategy. The results are in. It's truly amazing. I used a 5 minute time frame, and this was done using a 1 to 1 and 1 to 2 risks to reward ratio on Euro USD currency pair. It took 1 month of price data to find the 50 trade signals. I achieved 122% profit risking only 2% of the account. Now, let's talk about how we can improve the accuracy of this indicator. We will add another new indicator. But before moving on to that, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and help the channel with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, now let me teach you how to filter fake signals. We need to add another indicator to our chart. On top of the page, click on the indicators option and open the tab. On the search bar, type Bollinger plus RSI and click on this one. This is how the indicator looks. Now add the last indicator to the chart. Search RSI plus backlight and click on it. By looking at the RSI Bollinger chart, we can easily understand whether the market is on an uptrend or a downtrend. For example, if I hide this indicator here, then at this position, you will not be able to understand properly whether the market is on an uptrend or a downtrend. But if I use this indicator, it can be easily understood that the market is on the uptrend because the market is above the middle line of the Bollinger Band line. Now, to execute the trade, we will use the first and third indicators. According to the first condition, a buy signal has been generated here by closing above the green moving average line. Lastly, we will look at the below indicator, which should be above the 50 levels. And when this RSI indicator creates a red zone in this way, then you do not have to execute the sell trade. Because at that time, the pressure of the buyer is very high in the market. And for sell trades, we have to execute in the opposite way. So, to start things off, the first step is to ensure that the market is below the middle line of the Bollinger Band indicator. Once that's confirmed, the market should close below both the moving averages and the RSI line should be at or below the 50 levels. Set your stop loss at the previous high of the market and gradually trail your stop loss with moving averages. Now, when the market moves below the lower Bollinger Band line and a positive candle is created, that's your signal to book profit. It's important to note that if the Bollinger Band is just crossed the middle line, you should not execute any trades. Wait for a perfect sell signal like we have here. If the market price is above the middle Bollinger Band line, that's a fake signal and you can easily filter those out using this indicator. That was it for today's video. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video informative and valuable. As always, please remember to use proper risk management when trading in the Forex market.
Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon as I upload forex related videos every day so you will never miss an update.